In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the countdown module. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and look for the countdown timer. We're going to give the countdown timer a title. So let's go ahead and we will title it launch date. And then when you click here, it's going to bring up a calendar where you're going to be able to go and choose the date when either the event starts or the special offer ends or whatever you're setting the clock for. And then down here, you're going to set the time that it ends. And then here, you're going to set the text color to darker light. So if you're using a dark background, you want to use light text. If you're using a light background, you want to use dark text. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my background to a lighter blue. Then I'm going to add another countdown timer right here. I'm going to label this one, just going to label it site maintenance. I'm going to set this one for just until a couple months. Then I'm going to hit done. Uh, this one has blue, so I'm going to make this one light text so it's easier to see, so that way the text is white. I'm going to say yes to use the background. And then I'm going to set this and have my background. And then this one I will label. next event and then we're gonna set a date for this one along with the time as well and I am going to change the color for this one And then this one right down here, we are going to make a lighter color. So I will label this one event timer with a lighter color. And we're going to just make this one light gray. So let's just go ahead and click to white and then pull it down a bit. Get a nice light gray. Make sure that because we're doing gray, we want to have light text because dark will be hard to see. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then I'm going to make one more full width one to show you guys the full width with no background color. And this one I'm just going to label event timer with no background this one countdown and then I am going to set this one to light as well because I'm going to put no background color but I'm going to show you guys right now how to add a background even though this has no background color so now I'm going to hit save here and I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to come over to this three little tabs and I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to upload an image or put an image in that I already have. And then this is going to become my background for this. So my module has absolutely no background, but then I put a background in here so I can have my own custom background. And then we're going to preview. And now we have the blue, the red, the green, the gray, and the one where I put the custom color in or the custom background. 
and that's how you use the countdown module.